Hello everyone, what is going on? My name is Timpedia, and welcome to the very short, very intense walkthrough of my new computer. Um, I've been saying a lot on everything about all my videos and such that I was building one, and here it is. It's finally complete. So I wanted to walk you guys through it really quick. Um, I, if I don't remember a part number, I will uh, place all the links in the description, so just look for the links in the description of this video, and you can build your own Timpedia computer version two this is this this is my first full rebuild since my first build um well not full rebuild i built my initial computer that i started doing timpedia stuff on five years ago and i did a minor upgrade about two years ago and now i am doing a full rebuild with fresh parts and everything fresh uh at least 99 percent. all the all the worthwhile stuff is new so let's do a walkthrough shall we this is my corsair case i can't remember the model number because i bought this a while ago um, but it's a really, it's the best case I've ever had. It's got these sick doors. It's got little fan cover up here. You can have more fans, but you can, it's covered up and looks nice. If you don't have more fans, like I don't have, um, this is like a server, practically. It's a server case, but it's really, really awesome. i uh, link in the description, like I said. My drive I have up here is a Blu-ray drive that from my initial computer is just a basic, who cares? Uh, also... Two hard drives for my initial computer that made up my RAID for capturing. And I have a little SSD, a Samsung Pro 1 terabyte SSD, which is pretty huge for an SSD. It's really awesome. Uh, EVGA 850G2 Supernova power supply, which is going to provide more than enough voltage for my stuff. The motherboard is a Asus Republic of Gaming. I can't remember which one, but it has the LG... Uh, 2000 LGA 2011 V3 port for my processor, which is a Intel i7 5000 something. I'm sorry, I don't remember most of the part names. I kind of just bought them a while ago and finally got to build the thing. Um, but yeah, so it's an Intel i7 super high end processor. It was it's really good. Pa protecting it is the first ever water cooler I've ever used. The Corsair H90 CPU cooler. Bolts right onto the fan here. It's got all these. It's really awesome. And we have, of course, our graphics card. What could we do without that? An EVGA GeForce GTX 980 Ti, which is one of the highest end. Not the highest end, not a Titan or anything, or anything super crazy, but it's still really solid, and I'm really excited to have it. Uh, also a little, um, actually that doesn't even really matter. That's actually kind of basically it. There's really not much else to it. Oh, I also have this. Sorry, the light's on. Um, a beautiful, <laughs> very expensive Asus monitor that I bought um, on a very good deal on Amazon. Again, I can't remember which one, but it's it's like the, the highest end gaming monitor that Asus has available right now. Does this say on here which one it is? It's another... Uh, Republic of Gamer. It's a Swift PG278Q gaming monitor. So there you go. The This is my original, my primary monitor from my original setup, my keyboard, mouse, all the same. But yeah, so that's the new guts of the computer. So this is what I'm going to be doing videos, live streams, and all that other fun stuff from. So until you see the next video that I've done with it, which will hopefully be for not for too long. My name is Tim Pete and I will catch you guys later.